know, they're saying containment for the calendar is now at 12 percent, just a 1 percent increase from yesterday. It's burned over 138,000 acres so far. And tonight, South Lake Tahoe is opening an emergency center getting ready for the flames to move in. CBS 13's Renee Santos has been following the flames, and right now, Renee is in the Kybers area. Hi, Renee. Yeah, Curtis, you just mentioned how close that fire is to the town of Kybers. Since we've been here over the past hour, we've seen how close that smoke has gotten to this area. We're right outside the post office, and right now a lot of resources are on the northeast side of this fire. Crews are working to prevent flames from moving farther south. Now, what you just heard was terrain driven wind. This fire has created picking up energy. This is creating a very challenging firefight, and crews are expecting to see this throughout the evening. Firefighters are also dealing with a lot of embers, sparking spot fires in the dry vegetation, even torching trees. We saw firsthand how dangerous the situation can turn, standing right next to crews as several trees went up in flames. We were with firefighters who immediately jumped into action, hosing down an intense flare up in between Kybers and Twin Bridges. How hard is it not knowing when you can go back? Well, I don't know. It's just, you just don't know what you're going to do. So. It's stressful. Yeah, it's way stressful. And right now, evacuees continue to deal with the unknown. Cal Fire says air attack efforts will be used this evening, but so far we haven't heard any of those air efforts up above. Again, the aggressive nature of this fire, that terrain driven wind is really what fire crews are battling right now. Again, a lot of resources are being deployed to this fire just within the past 30 minutes. I have seen crews from as far as San Jose.